is about the Orion test flight liftoff to splashdown, and uh, they basically talk about you know what needs to be done in order for this project to take place. And so NASA engineer Kelly Smith is on there. He's explaining stuff, but he says something really interesting. So let's check this out. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. Wait a minute. We must solve this issue before sending people through this space? What happened during the moon missions? Didn't they go through the Van Allen belt as well? So, I don't know. Just wanted to point out this discrepancy where in this video, this guy is talking about how the equipment can fail and the navigation can fail and we're going to have to figure this out before we put people through it. Well, what's to figure out? Didn't you guys figure that out like 50 years ago or something? Just very strange that they would say that. Did they spill the beans? Maybe. Time key means you can use any background that you like. This is what the background looks like. Uh, this is the true background that we filmed this on. With primer key it means you can have any background that you like, like this, or maybe this, or maybe this. Special guest from International Space Station, Terry Wirtz, the current ISS commander, and Samantha Cristoforetti, the first Italian female astronaut in space. Hi Terry, buongiorno Samantha, thank you very much for joining us on Euronews. I would like to start by asking how you feel about the other three crew members returning to Earth. As the next crew will arrive at the end of March, do you feel a bit lonely up there in space? You know, it was, it was, it was sad seeing... And what comes after the International Space Station once its mission is over? How do we ensure the presence of humans in space? Well, that's a great question. Uh, the plan that NASA has is to build a rocket called SLS, which is a heavy lift rocket. It's something that is, that is much bigger than what we have today, and it will be able to launch the Orion capsule with humans on board. 
as well as uh, landers or other uh, components to, via, to destinations beyond Earth orbit. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the We only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to. And we're building these building block components in order to allow us to do that eventually. Ryan is getting ready to launch. My name is Kelly Smith, and I work on navigation and guidance for Orion. Orion is NASA's next generation spacecraft. Built with versatility in mind, it can take astronauts deeper into space than we've ever gone before, to an asteroid, or even onto Mars. For these missions, Orion has to be one tough spacecraft, with standing high speeds, searing temperatures, and extreme radiation. Before we can send astronauts into space on Orion, we have to test all of its systems. And there's only one way to know if we got it right. No astronauts will be aboard. The spacecraft is loaded with sensors to record and measure all aspects of the flight in every detail. It all begins with launch aboard a Delta IV as the spacecraft and the upper stage begin their first lap around Earth. Mission Control in Houston is monitoring the progress of the flight. Orion's over 100 miles up and going about 17,000 miles per hour. Just as it passes over the Indian Ocean, we lose communication. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. It's great to be a part of this first space flight for Orion, and we're looking forward to beginning a new chapter in human space exploration.